Do you know the trick to this SAT math question? In this question, we're given a quadratic equation with variables a and b. The question states that a and b are positive constants and that the product of the solution to this quadratic equation is kab, where k is also a positive constant. What is the value of k? A typical approach would be to use the ac and box method, where we can identify that 57b and a are going to be our two terms, plug that into our grid, and then solve backwards to see what our solution must be in factor form. But all of that is too much work. Instead, can you find the simple trick that helps solve this problem a lot faster? Notice that the question is asking for the product of the solutions. Luckily for us, there's a very simple formula to relate the product of solutions to a quadratic equation to the constants in the quadratic equation. The formula is that C divided by A is equal to the product of solutions in a quadratic equation. Now we can easily identify C in our equation as AB and A in our quadratic equation as 57. Now we can just plug that into our formula and see that C over A is equal to AB over 57. Then we can just set that equal to KAB as given in the question. All we have to do is solve for K and luckily the terms AB on both sides of the equation cancel and we're left with K is equal to one over 57. Answer choice A. So as we can see, a daunting and complicated question like this actually has a really straightforward and simple solution if you knew the trick of the product of solutions to a quadratic equation. However, that's not often taught in school, which is why it's very important to have dedicated studying for the SAT math to pick up on these little tips and tricks that you can apply when taking the exam and save yourself a bunch of time and a bunch of headache. Be sure to follow and subscribe to 1% Prep for more tips and tricks on standardized testing and college prep.